died of tuberculosis in 2021 according to a report by WHO. It is the 13th most leading disease to kill people and second most infectious disease after COVID-19. Tuberculosis has been killing people around the worldwide and has been reported one of the most infectious diseases. Today we have Dr. Neha Rastogi with us who is going to explain us about the tuberculosis and how difficult it is to make it easier for the people so that they can come and talk about it. So when we talk about tuberculosis ma'am, uh, normally for people, uh, wo bas ek hai, or maybe, you know, a lot of people are I think unaware of the fact that tuberculosis is actually a very infectious disease and it can lead to a death also. But sometimes when people are, uh, I think, uh, suffering from cough or uh, normal khasi, all they can uh, do is without even prescription, uh, cough syrup, uh, gargle, kariya, you know, the normal uh, house remedies or whatever the medicines you have been eating since very long. So, when we talk about tuberculosis, what exactly is tuberculosis and what is uh, a dif what kind, what different kind of tuberculosis do we have? Right. So, uh, first of all, TB is as oldest a pandemic mm -hmm. uh, Indian nation has witnessed. Mm -hmm. I mean, as old as we talk about COVID these days, mm -hmm. but trust me, this is one of the most deadly and dangerous, mm -hmm. even more than COVID. As far as the types of TB is considered, so post-COVID, we have seen not only the lung TB, mm. but also the other forms of TB, specifically the gland TB, the lymph node TB, mm. abdominal TB, mm. we have a brain TB, we have a bone TB, joint TB. So TB can affect practically every part of the body. Mm. It's just like we are more worried and concerned about the pulmonary, that is the lung form of TB, because that's the most easily transmissible to the other people. Mm. And being a dread threat for both, not, not for only yourself, mm -hmm. but also for your family because of its communicability. Mm -hmm. As far as the uh, the symptoms of TB is considered, as I mentioned, there are different forms and different sites. So that depends upon the site to site. Mm -hmm. So talking most commonly about the lung form of TB, like you have rightly mentioned, the cough is the major symptom. Mm -hmm. And in cough also, because this is a season, this is a winter season, a lot of viral infections takes place, flu and COVID. So their cough can be in that also. Mm -hmm. So that's an overlapping symptom. But if the cough keep persisting mm -hmm. for almost two weeks or beyond two weeks, mm -hmm. you have a high grade fever, which is like not going even after seven days, 10 mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. you have a weight loss, mm -hmm. food appetite loss, mm -hmm. and started developing more of a breathing symptoms. Mm -hmm. And the cough kind of, because mostly the viral infections have more of a dry cough. Mm -hmm. If you have a sputum productive cough, which is yellow or you know greenish red mm -hmm. in color, start thinking your uh, clock towards the TB, mm. get yourself diagnosed at an early age. Mm. So uh, when we talk about tuberculosis, is it, see we talked about that it's an infectious disease, is it transmissible to person to person or it's just not transmissible disease? So definitely it is, it is a communicable disease mm. because it can be transferred from person to person through the air. Mm. If I'm talking, sneezing, laughing and no contact is being there, no mask precaution is there. Lung TB can be fully transmitted to the other person. Mm. So when we talk about uh, uh, transmitting, then what? We talked about symptoms, but can you list the symptoms, like precisely symptoms about if somebody wants to uh, see a doctor and it's a high time that you should, uh, you should see a doctor, it's not a, not a normal cough or a normal khasi. So what are the symptoms that should be precisely seen in anybody, be it uh, from a younger age person to an older age person? True. So like I said, the TB is of different parts. Mm. So if I talk about only the lung TB, mm. there you have a fever, fever, which is low grade to high grade mm. for two to four weeks mm. almost. You have a cough, which is initially beginning, it's dry, but then it becomes wet, mm -hmm. eventually becomes more hacky and more volume in nature. Mm -hmm. Third is probably the shortness of breath, breathing difficulty starts mm -hmm. ensuing if it is not taken care. 
and plus minus many a times people do come up with the blood in the sputum or blood in the cough as well so these are the common symptoms along with that the weakness fatigability loss of appetite and loss of weight so these all complexes make specifically for the tb of lung mm. apart from that other areas for example if you have a brain tb mm. fever headache mm. sometimes people present us with the seizures mm. and sometimes even the worst case scenario they come up with the coma state or an altered state mm. same way if you have a gland tb mm. people started showing up the weakness mm. low grade fever mm. and particularly when we see young people mm. with the lymph node of the neck area they start observing the some swelling kind of a thing mm. which increases every day for almost 2 weeks and 3 weeks and then they land up that they have started feeling some kind of a nodule mm. which turns out to be the lymph node tb mm. for abdominal the most common symptoms are loss of weight loss of appetite mm. vomiting mm. constipation sometimes blood in the stools mm. so based upon your area specificity of symptoms you have a uh, different kind of symptoms mm. so when we talk about tb uh, what uh, why would a person uh, a healthy person also some you know the reporters have been like not only the person who work under some difficult situations but the people who are healthier also can get the tb what can be the common causes uh, if somebody is having tb or be it like you know tb not in just the lungs but any part of the body so in india there is something called as a latent tb mm. we are like born with the tb So 95 to 96 percent of Indians have already a TB infection at the birth time. Okay. Okay. So most of them gets reactivated in the due course of time. Mm. Even a healthy person who comes in the contact mm. knowingly or unknowingly mm. with the ex person who has a some form of TB, specifically the lung TB, anywhere at any point of contact in time, they can acquire that TB. Mm. TB is not only linked with the low immunity mm. but also a poor state of nutrition. Okay. and when i talk about a poor state of nutrition that doesn't only mean an under nutrition a malnutrition even if we more of the junk foods no healthy diet no balanced diet no high protein diet working in a full ac atmosphere when this uh, the opposite person to you keeps coughing for like years all together mm-hmm. you are also liable or bound to have it does it also happen for the people who goes under you know lot of extreme dieting and lot of things because that is also where you're not getting the proper nutrition. absolutely so the idea is that the under nutrition or a dieting is only a form to just you know have a weight based it's mm. more of a cosmetic thing mm. i would rather request to have a dietary modification mm. make it more sustainable so that your medical fitness doesn't get hampered so mm. definitely is one of the because you just starve at uh, totally yeah. you don't have a healthy protein you don't mm-hmm. have any supplements and then eventually your immunity goes off mm-hmm. and when you come in the contact like i said with being in this professions or wherever you are going and working mm-hmm. if you unknowingly come in contact with the person you are more susceptible to mm-hmm. so uh, when we talk about uh, the treatments is tb curable or is tb manageable with the medicines but not curable like is it completely treatable and a person uh, who has acquired a tb infection can be uh, cured properly yeah so treatment of tb is basically the two way one is a drug sensitive tb and one is a drug resistant tb mm-hmm. uh, luckily our drug resistance rate are not that high but still it fares somewhere around 11 to 20% which is still a big number every one fifth of the person will have cure rate again depends for any infectious disease it depends upon when you walk it mm-hmm. so it's always a window for us so whenever you are coming with say one site tb which has been fully diagnosed and when i talk about diagnosis in the 21st century in 2023 let's all pledge that early diagnosis mm-hmm. and early treatment should be the key for tb mukt bharat i should say mm-hmm. so whenever you have a early diagnosis ready mm-hmm. and you have a one site tb with medicines taking properly no failure in the medicine uh, the treatment duration is very less also mm-hmm. and also it's fully cured mm-hmm. so when we talk about uh, tuberculosis and uh, it's infectious uh, you know how it spreads is there any specific age group or specific uh, group of age where it is more affected or say activates again while in coming the contact with someone so tb is one disease which is you know no bias by age okay as far as the elderly concerned mm. they are more liable because of their poor immune functions and different other illnesses like diabetes hypertension mm. young they are more affected 
because they step out more mm-hmm. they come in contact with the other people more mm-hmm. so as far as the age group is considered i would like to say that the extra lung forms of tb other than lung mm-hmm. are more commonly we have seen in the younger age group like the, the lymph node and the abdominal ones mm. as far as the lung tb is considered because the older specifically males they have a chronic smokers mm. or the women of the houses were used to have some chulas exposures mm. so those are more prone to the lung based tbs mm. so this is the only parity but otherwise tb can affect any uh, form of age okay so uh, as we talked about uh, tb how a person can can diagnose on a early stage very early symptoms where now you have to see a doctor and then what kind of treatments are given to the people who are affected you know you have now they have been diagnosed and now what kind of treatments are given to them so uh, thanks to our indian government the ntp program mm-hmm. they have made this strategy very very simple so as we have mentioned that the symptoms are very overlapping again weakness fatigue loss of appetite are certain very subjective symptoms mm. so i would say that earliest symptom is the, the the earliest you can come to a doctor mm. so if you have symptoms like fever even if it is like a low grade fever you are only a feverish feeling but that is also ongoing for say a week or two mm. so 10 days 7 to 10 days should be a cut off that beyond that any symptom for that matter is existing either a weakness or a fever or a loss of weight loss of appetite mm-hmm. or low on energy even cough abdominal pain headache start seeing a doctor mm-hmm. and then eventually even a lower back ache so many mm-hmm. times we see patients coming with the lower back ache for two months they are taken supplements vitamin d pain killers mm-hmm. but we get an mri done and there is a tb right in the spine sit oh. so the idea is early to pick up that as far as the early picking up is considered the diagnosis also depends upon the area specific mm-hmm. so if it's like a lymph node we better take a sample mm-hmm. for the lung if it's a productive cough we take a sputum sample mm-hmm. if it's a dry cough we prefer to do a bronchoscopy mm-hmm. if it's an abdominal and it's a heavily uh, colonized area like heavily fully intestines are involved we prefer to do a biopsy using the endoscopic techniques mm-hmm. same for the urinary tb we prefer to take a urine sample so based upon the site specific we do a sampling mm-hmm. treatment is also very simple thanks to government we have the drug sensitive and drug resistant and we have a program based management okay so when we uh, talk about the cough uh, and the specific age group of people thus people who are working into some industrial areas between the smoke and a lot of pollution which is caused by fire and say anything which is caused by uh, burning of something and then you are inhaling it are they even more uh, you know like more towards prone, yeah, yeah yeah prone yeah. towards the so process. actually in that scenario nowadays the air quality index is such bad yes that practically every person is prone to that mm. it's because those chemical things or fumes they causes a local lung injury mm. so when you are working for example mining people mm. or coal worker people or in a cement factory mm. when you keep working the particles start gets depositing so mm. your lung capacity start getting compromised mm. and the lesser is the lung effect there will be more you know the secretions which we spit out usually it's a usual thing you are not able to mm. they keep collecting and the exposure will be more and hence the vulnerability of a disease to come early and spread is more even that is possible if somebody is a daily chain smoker or a daily heavy smoker absolutely so smoking actually increases the risk of having a tuberculosis by 15 to 20 times okay. as compared to their normal non smoker counterpart and when i say a smoker is not only a dangerous for himself or herself but the other inmates who are a passive smokers mm. okay so uh, has been there any kind of development in tuberculosis treatment uh, because uh, i think half of the people thing that tuberculosis is only a disease which can be caused through lungs or it's a cough disease but as you mentioned that it can be in any part of the body say joint a spinal cord or your abdomen so has there been any kind of a development in past few years in a treating tb and me and how successful it has been for you to treat people from through that diagnosis of the kind of treatment that has been developed So yes, TB is one area which has been very dynamic, mm. and even after COVID, lot of our government energies and research has been channelized to TB. Mm. 
TB treatment has been really advanced mm. and with the help of TB Mukt Bharat Abhiyan mm. it is being given to even the poorest of the people okay apart from that the nutritional support mm. even nowadays financial support is also being given to the people mm. with free of cost treatment mm. TB regimen which was initially used to be said ki agar drug resistant TB hai so the treatment will be say 18 months 24 months mm-hmm. usse pehle ilaj nahi ho sakta WHO and even now in India from 2023 onwards we are treating a drug resistant lung TB in 6 months also okay. gone are those days where injections were the important source of a treatment abhi everything is very oral very easily being given and very easy to administer to the people duration of treatment has shortened effective drugs have been incorporated every year to increase the yield and to increase the response rate diagnostic front has been wonderful so these days we have digitalized artificial intelligence based diagnosis of tb to pick up a tb in some xyz village so that that can be easily being picked up right in time diagnosed and treated so tb is an area which has been working fabulously on the development front vaccines of tb has been a huge success good trials have been upcoming and more than that the tracking technology has been these days wonderful to pick up more and more tb cases